Today I'd like to test out these flat coaxial cables. These are one possible solution to the problem of running a coax cable from say an antenna or a satellite dish from the outside of your house to the inside of your house without drilling a hole in the exterior walls. I bought these cables about eight or nine years ago and they're made by a company called Eagle Aspen. They make television antennas as well as various antenna and satellite switches. Normally these cables are used to pass a coaxial cable from an antenna or satellite dish through a window or a sliding door and avoid all of the possible pitfalls of drilling a hole in the side of your house. But how do they perform in terms of retaining signal quality? Well, that's what we're gonna to test today. You can see that these flat coax cables are a lot thinner than RG6 coax cable, which make them perfect to fit under most windows and still allow it to seal when it's shut. To get a sense of how this cable performs, we're going to look at the average signal strength across all three over the air channels I can receive in my area and measure the signal strength both with the flat coaxial cable in place and replacing it with a regular coax coupler between the same two pieces of RG6 cable. And after averaging all the information, both with and without the flat coax cable in place, my results show that there's only an average signal loss of about two and a half percent across the three channels that I have. Now, individually, some channels lost as much as 6% average and some as little as 1% average. But with this particular type of flat coax cable, the signal loss appears to be minimal. Now, the only time where that small amount of signal loss might be really costly is if you are trying to receive a channel which is kind of on the fringe. For example, a channel where you're only receiving about 40% signal, that's pretty much the threshold where you can either lock a channel or lose a channel. Overall, the signal loss with these flat coax cables appears to be minimal. This cable seemed to hold up pretty well to the sharp bends that my window put into it. The only place I could see this being installed that might be problematic is in a window or door that is repeatedly opened and closed. I could see that causing a lot of excessive wear on this cable. These cables are best used as a temporary measure to run coax cable into a house, maybe for testing an antenna out or testing a setup, but as far as a permanent solution goes, you're better off to have a properly run piece of coax cable running from your antenna or satellite dish. These particular flat style cables are also probably best used if you're dealing with strong over the air signals if you have a few weaker signals in your area, for example, TV stations that you're only able to pull in around 40%, well, that three or five or 10% signal loss might make the difference between receiving a channel and not receiving a channel. So these are handy and convenient, but really work best with strong signals because when you're dealing with weaker TV signals, any signal loss could cost you reception of that channel. So if you are going to install one of these cables and you have some weak TV signals in your area, just be aware that that might mean sacrificing a couple of channels. But if you live in a rental property or just don't have the knowledge or technical ability to safely drill a hole in the side of your house, then this might be the solution for you.